something was very wrong. Hello agents, I'm Susanna Moyer and this is the Ingress Report. Last weekend, over 1,500 agents in Brussels, nearly 800 in Salt Lake City, and thousands more agents in satellite sites and connected cells around the world joined forces in the struggle to control the first of the Darsana anomalies. The day began in Brussels with simultaneous satellite sites in Bern, Vilnius, Aarhus and Pune. There are maybe more, but we are more efficient, so... <laughs> We got here really fast at the first cluster and that really paid out to our advantage because we were able to basically build up the entire area. Five, it has nine links, that's ours, we have to protect it. The last position or the last cluster was I think 10 against 30 per quarter. Quite nice to get to know each other, even if they're from the other faction. <laughs> in Bern, the Enlightened began the day on the front foot, but lost control of the anomaly during the third and fourth measurement, ultimately losing the sight by a mere 8.6. In Vilnius, the Enlightened remained within a thin margin of the resistance, dropping their lead to just 17 at measurement three before falling behind again. The first half of the day ended in a landslide resistance win. The resistance claimed Pune, 311 to 61, Aarhus, 251.2 to 70, Vilnius, 197 to 147, Bern, 184.6 to 176, and the primary site of Brussels, 1106.2 to 571. Oh. Brussels was captured by... In addition, the resistance claimed the connected cells in Dubai and Odessa. The Enlightened claimed the volatile cell at Virotswa, as well as the connected cells at Minsk, Bristol and Ottawa. Some hours later, agents set to work in the United States at the primary site of Salt Lake City and satellite sites in Anchorage and Honolulu. Ultimately, it's about the teamwork that brings you together as a group and helps your team win in the end. One of the coolest things I've experienced is putting up a million MU field over most of the central Utah. Um, yesterday we just threw a field in the shape of Utah and I got to close one of them. Um, as a pony rider, it was uh, a lot of fun. I cannot explain how many people, amazing people I have met through Ingress. Um, I've had so many friends and people who have, have changed my life. In Salt Lake City and Anchorage, the Enlightened remained a step behind their opponents over the course of the day. In Honolulu, however, they surged, supported by a massive series of fields created between Alaska, California and Hawaii. I won a lifetime membership to Zipcar. A completely new to Zipcar. Never used okay. it. I've got friends who've used it. Okay. Uh, some of them to play in Gref. The Enlightened captured Honolulu 384.4 to 155. The Resistance claimed Anchorage 206 to 134, and Salt Lake City 570 to 329. <laughs> the Enlightened also controlled the volatile cell at Providence and connected cells at San Jose, Jakarta, and Macau. 
the resistance controlled the connected cells at Okinawa and Dallas. As the first Darsana anomalies came to an end, the resistance seized control 69 to 15. Last week, I promised that I would continue to dig for a deeper understanding of the Darsana anomalies. Many questions remain, but data acquired during this past weekend revealed that the Helios artifact portals, which Hank Johnson warned may be a beacon to a hidden intelligence called the Nazir, are somehow reacting to the Darsana anomalies. I intercepted Dr. Martin Schubert to ask his expertise. Doctor, can you explain what happened this weekend? Look, Susanna, I've only seen the same information as everyone else, all right? Well, perhaps you can give us your interpretation then. Okay, from what I can tell, following each uh, anomaly, the uh, beacons transmitted something, a message of some kind. So the beacon theory is correct. The results of Helios was to create a series of XM beacons that are now active. I I'm not really in a position to talk about that. Some people say that if the day had ended differently, then that right. transmission, those messages, may not have been sent. That is currently one hypothesis, yes. So should we fear then, the Nazir? It seems to me that some individuals, Jarvis to name one, fear them, fear this idea. Well, he made a strange comment recently. Uh -huh. he, he talked about breaking the universe. Do you happen to know what he was referring to? Look, Jarvis said a lot of things. He wasn't himself. I'm sorry, Susanna. That's, that's all I'm going to say, all right? Thank you. Analysts are still attempting to decipher these burst messages. The Ingress report has obtained a portion of the intercepted transmission. In the meantime, Hank Johnson continues to share short and often cryptic journal posts in his journey to discover more about the Nazir. A series of notes he left prior to his recursion, recently discovered in portals around the world, have also been found to contain references to the Nazir. We will keep you informed as this story develops. In La Vue, a group of 10 agents set about to create a flower using a cross-faction series of fields. The operation was planned over two days, and when executed, the field art stood nearly two kilometers high and leveraged a starburst of over 70 links within the flower itself. Agent Sturman, Storm 33, VDART, and Sir Jazz were among those involved. In Taiwan, enlightened agents celebrated the National Day of the Republic of China by building a series of fields in the shape of the island of Taiwan in the dense portal network of downtown Taipei. Nearly 50 ADA refactors had to be used to help clear the area for the 41 fields the operation required. Agents Nicemaker, Hannah Kay, Urena, and more than 35 other agents were involved. And in the Netherlands, resistance agents executing a plan created by Agent Rosavino launched Operation Area 51. This massive layered field op involved building 51 fields to control 101.5 million mind units. Nearly 50 agents took part in the operation, including Fiat's Pomp, Zoad Mans, Paranoi Mia, and Jevy 007. Endgame, the novel released just a few weeks ago by author James Fry, has made it into the New York Times bestseller list. The last stop of his book signing tour is in Toronto on October 28th. Last week, I asked you to share some of your favorite missions using the Ingress Missions hashtag. Thanks to you, we discovered the Rome Imperial March, which begins at the Colosseum and wanders through the heart of the Roman Empire before ending at the Piazza Venezia and Nine Views, a series of sculptures that collectively represents a scale model of our solar system in Zagreb. I look forward to seeing more remarkable and unique portals and missions through your discoveries. The next Arsana anomaly will take place on November 15th in New Orleans, with satellites in Virginia Beach, Oklahoma City, and Santo Domingo, as well as a global cell challenge, featuring a massive number of cells believed to be in excess of 100. Finally, News emerged this week of a significant increase in the output of portals over the next two weeks, as well as a special series of medals for those who achieve a certain access level prior to November 15th. For the Ingress Report, I'm Susanna Moyer. Stick to the plan and I will keep you safe. There was no point in trying to respond. It wouldn't change anything. Instead, she dropped lower into her seat. She would be there in a few hours. Blink. She could feel the brakes slowing the train. 
Had she dozed off? No, she hadn't. She was sure of it. Yet the train was arriving at her destination. She could hear the announcement. Another two-hour movie instantly experienced. Dever shook her head. We're here already, she said to the man across the aisle. Time flies, he replied. Except when it stands still, Dever said. At least we made it out of Zurich alive, the man replied. What do you mean? The murders at the Zurich HB.